Welcome to another video. Um, in this video, I'm practicing drawing faces and coloring them with Copic markers. This video just will show you my process. These are just fast practices. Um, they're not going to be perfect, but I, my goal with this video is for you to know how to um, get some idea of how to draw faces and some mistakes that I made that I hope you don't make. Um, so hopefully you enjoy the process. I will be explaining more on the way. So here I was using a cold Prismacolor, um, one of those that are erasable. Uh, it's I think it's Cotatera, the color, and I chose that one because it's close to the skin tone. And then I go over with pencil. Here I'm drawing the eyes. Sorry if my hand's on the way. So I'm just going over them, doing the lips. See how I did the lips? Hopefully you guys could have a good visual. I feel like with all, overall, I feel like I like the eyes. Not not the eyes. Well, the first one came out better than the other ones. You will see. Uh, but I really like how the lips are. Then I'm continuing with the other face. Because in this video, I'm going to show you three different face drawings and three ways I color them with Copic markers and again once again I'm going over the face with the regular HB pencil you don't need a fancy I don't use a fancy pencil for this any pencil will do I'm going over the eyebrows the eyes going back to the first one because I forgot to do the eyebrows then I move on to the third one. I like doing that that line across the face for the eyes. It gives me a location where I want to put the eyes. And then I erase again because sometimes the line, the eyes, I, I struggle with the eyes because sometimes I do one better than the other. And I feel like a good tip would be, um, well, you will see that. In this video, I didn't really erase too much, didn't go try to fix it because I wanted to just do practice faces for fun and not and see how I have improved and what I still need work. And overall, I still they rather look okay, but um, my faces are not perfect, and I feel like slowly with practice they will improve. And I just wanted to show this video to, to for you to see the process. Again, I'm going back. I'm going to start now on the hairline. Hairline. Drawing the hair. For the first one, I decided to do straight hair. So, I rarely do straight hair. And this, I decided the first one will be straight hair. The other one's going to kind of be wavy, curled. Mostly wavy. So, this is how I do the face, the hair. So, these are going to be three different faces with three different types of hair. This one's going to be an updo. I'm just fixing it because it was the hair was too close to the eyebrows. For this one, I'm just going over the over the bun, I decided it would be an updo. I'm going back to the first one. Now I'm going to use the micro pen to go over them. And the one I'm using here is a 0.03. I'm just going over the eyes, mostly the hair features of the face and the hair on top of the head. Meanwhile, watching me go over the up outlining this illustration this face and the hair I just want to mention briefly mention that um, I would like it if you guys could check out my Redbubble and my Etsy shop my best drawings go up there for my shop um, it will mean the world to me if you go visit them the links are in the description below below this video um, I just want to say that my best artwork is always goes up on my Etsy and Redbubble shop um, they're definitely better than this so go see for yourself. Thank you. Um, let's continue with the video.
I'm just finishing outlining the last face. Uh, this is the third one. I'm just out outlining the eyes, the lips, the nose, the hair. Leaving the, the shape of the face and the neck, the color of the cold Prisma color. So now I'm erasing and I just realized I made a mistake. I didn't draw the lines of hair on the left side of her face. So I'm still erasing. So how are you liking the video? Um, see one of those mistakes that I usually forget to draw something. And then after it erases when I realize oh, I forgot to outline that part. Like for example right now the eyebrows. I'm just going over them without going over pencil because that's my mistake and I'm still continue to erase all the pencil marks now moving on to the third one erasing erasing now of course you could tell that the eye on the third face is not the same as the other eye and that's the uh, mistake that I tend to make always and for in this particular for this particular video I didn't spend too much time fixing I just went with the process and went, wanted to see where it was gonna end up with end up at or how was it gonna be and I'm just writing some contour on their faces that's where their, their cheeks are. Now I'm showing you the copics that I used. You're welcome to pause the video. And for the first one I'm using E000. One of my new and favorite copics for fair skin. So I just go over the face. Now I'm adding R20 to the cheeks and then I'm going I'm getting E00 cotton pearl or skin white either one of the two they're the, they're the same color so I'm just going over it because that's the second darkest color then I again blend it in with the E000 which is really good for fair skin. I again go over this time with E11, a little darker to highlight the neck, the shadows, the nose. Then I move into the second skin tone. The first one is fair skin. That's the type of, of fair skin that I usually do with those markers. And never mind, I'm going back to coloring the eyes. Then I'm coloring the lips. I really like how the lips are turned out. I'm really proud of that. That's the only thing that I liked in the hair, of course, that I liked from this video. But keep on watching. Hopefully you find something interesting from this or get inspired. Really liked how I really liked how I did the lips for sure. So now I'm going over. So I went with E57. I use E47 and E49 for the hair. E49 is a new Copic marker that I was that I haven't used, and I decided to use it for this video. So first I started off with the lightest color.
then I go back to with E49 you could see it how dark it is from E47 then I go back to E47 E47 to kind of blend those colors and add more color to those white gaps and again I'm going back to E49 So I go back and forth until I like until I feel like it's good enough. Then again I put another layer of the lip color on the top lip. Kinda adds dimension. Then I'm adding the eyelashes to both eyes. I still can then now I'm outlining the chin just at the bottom of the face it kinda adds dimension depth then I just draw kinda fly away his hair extra hairlines not hairlines but extra um hair and you can see how I included um some few uh flyaway hairs and then I put I get a white pen and put two dots on the eyes and I added shine to the lips by drawing kind of squiggly lines on the lips at the bottom. And then I move it on to the second face. For this one, I want to use a little darker skin, so I decided to start off with E21. And the pencil was uh, was kind of dry. I mean, the marker was kind of dry, so I had to go refill it. And uh, so far right now it's a little tricky, but it gets better. So that's going to be the first layer. That's the lightest color. And obviously you could see how I messed up on the eyes. There's a trick to improve on the eyes that I will later talk in another video. Um, but this other fashion illustrator um, told me about this trick. And where you draw the first eye... And then you flip the paper, flip the paper around so that you could see the eye shape, but not the eye. It's a, a I don't know if you understand, but you turn the once you draw the eye, you would flip your paper the other way around, like it'll be backwards. Your drawing will be backwards, and you would copy the size of the eye, the shape of the eye, not the actual eye. It's a it's a video that I plan on making. I'm sure video that I plan on making in the future for those that are, have trouble drawing eyes. Yeah, for this reason, for this video, I didn't even apply that rule. I just went, just went with it. Uh, I'm still learning how to. Uh, um, I don't know. Maybe the videotaping kind of made me not go over it too much because I didn't want to make this video too long. But of course, when you're drawing faces and you really want to present them, um, for your shop or for um, anything that you plan to or making it kind of big I feel like for social media you could post it and you could see um, the reaction of people and that reaction is going to help you um, improve for the next time but for the sake of this video I didn't stop and I just went to see how they were going to end up and of course their eyes are different on all three I feel like the first face the eyes are decent uh, but hey, every face is different, every every person has different face expressions, um, and different eyes, so. And then here I'm going over the lips for with RV93 for the lips, and then for the curly hair, wavy hair, I used E49.
A47 to add to the hair. So again, I'm using an A49 and E 47 for hair. Just continue to go over it. Adding some wavy hair with the micro pen. Then going over the eyebrows. I believe it was, that was E47. And then again on the upper lip, adding another layer of marker. I feel like I really like that. It makes the lips more dimension, have more dimension, more depth, less flat, and I really like that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed how enjoy how I make the lips. Then for this one, I decided to add white as for highlight and add her hair, but I realized that it has too much white, and I don't like adding too much white to the hair. So I grab a dark brown color and go over the white. This is a prismacolor. color. I think it's dark brown. Yeah, it's dark brown. I'm just going over the highlights. And it reduces the highlight, the amount of white. Then we're moving on to the third phase. I'm still erasing some marks that didn't really disappear. And obviously you could see the eyes don't match. And that's one of the biggest mistakes that I always struggle with, making the perfect eyes. I feel like the only big issue from from this video that I really didn't like it, but now that you see um, my mistakes by watching it, hopefully you could learn and improve on yours. Uh, feel more motivated to improve on your eyes. For those other artists and are interested in fashion illustration, And then again, I forgot to add that black line outlining the chin, just like I did on the first one. So I'm moving on to continuing with the third phase. I'm going to be adding E11. Not the first layer, the second layer is going to be E13, the, the second darkest color. And you notice that I just use two colors for skin. And I just go over them multiple times until I like the, until I'm happy with it. So I blend and make sure I blend it until it looks kind of good, but still the shadows are noticeable. And so far, I feel like the colors I use for fair skin and these two are my favorite. What are your thoughts? Um, I would like to hear them. I would like to hear your nice comments or feedback. It will be appreciated. Then I'm adding the eyelashes with the micro black pen and 0.03. You could see that for the third phase, she has kind of like a lazy eye. Um, we could assume that, but for for sure it was my mistake that I messed up on the eyes. And you know, eyes could mess up the whole face of a illustration. But for this video, once again, I just continue to see um, how the book gonna end up looking like without fixing too much. And just as a reminder. Um, I am inviting you to check my Etsy shop and my Redbubble shop. I sell my best artwork there. Go check it out. Um, I usually update the store once a month or if I'm or every two weeks. Please do check them out. Um, there's one for weddings. I have a fashion search for weddings that is so adorable. Um, and they're on sale. All my stuff is on sale. Go check it out. Links are in the description below. 
now let's continue with this video so now I'm applying um, skin color I decided to start with E15 but I didn't really like the color then I went over it with E18 and I still kind of didn't like the color and finally I added E47 to it and it kind of made it better and now I'm cleaning the eye rolls I definitely messed up on the eyebrows too, but I just continued, went back to the lip, you know the drill, adding a second layer to the lip to add, di add dimension. Then adding white to the eyes to provide that glow, that shine, outlining the chin. I'm just finishing outlining the face, adding the white on top of the crown of the head and you know I don't really like too much white so I'm going over with dark brown adding more details to the hair and that's all for this video, thank you for watching see you until next one